Good morning, hey guys. guys. Hey guys. Finally, today we're not the same. Yeah. <laughs> we're not wearing the same color. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, guys. Today is another like a very peaceful day. And then he's saying, uh, it's been a while since your family came over. Like, you know, sometimes they, you know, come here, all the kids, and it's been a while. I guess everybody's life has been so busy. Yeah, well, <laughs> see if we can get them over this weekend, maybe. Yeah, maybe this and weekend. Come over. Yeah, see, guys, this is our, if we go here in the front porch, yeah. this is uh, our view of the front porch okay see i'm cooling it right now because every time i say <laughs> balcony uh, they will always correct me no it's yeah. not a balcony it's a front porch yeah we have a very colorful plants in the front you know it's been almost six years here here in the philippines in and few it's weeks. yeah in a f is it yeah in a few weeks it'll be six years wow yeah that is very where did all that time i feel like uh, we've only been here for like two years yeah, you know, yeah. time is very fast we're you know? just sitting here reminiscing about our time in the u.s and uh marissa left her family when she was 20 and uh you know your siblings they were very young especially Mariti, she was only Maritis. like three or four years only old when i left old, yeah. yeah so yeah. it was a big deal for her to come back and get reacquainted with them Right and, right, and she's really enjoying uh, her family. I mean, she visited three or four times when you're we U.S., mm -hmm. but you know, for a month at a time. Mm -hmm. But now she's uh, really enjoying the bonding and reestablishing the relationships with them. Yeah, because when uh, I left, mm. my Mylene was only about ten, or you know, like Maribin was like twelve. So well, it's, it's, I can't really talk to them like. You know, we're talking like adults because right. they're still young, and you know, I'm the oldest. So, by the time that we moved here, they're already grown, they're in their twenties. So, it's really cool that I can hang out with them. We talk like adults, like talking about life instead of just like being uh, a yeah. talking immature stuff. Getting to and, know each other as yeah. adults. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I love hanging out and bonding <coughs> with my sisters. We were reminiscing about life in the U.S. And you know when you oh, wow <laughs> that's a big one yeah. was that's the thing that was, a wasp. <laughs> was in it or a hornet yeah yeah a hornet yeah yeah when you when you think back and reminisce you really only remember the good parts you know the, the bad parts you kind of push out Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, it was very nice. I mean, we enjoyed the scenery. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we enjoyed walking along the the mm -hmm. bay. Mm -hmm. We lived in Vallejo. Yeah. We enjoyed fishing when we lived in Clear Lake. Yeah. You know, we we enjoyed those outdoor things, but there was a lot of stress <laughs> associated with it. Yeah. You know, so. Uh, because like normally in the u.s if you're not paying your rent then you're paying your mortgage right. lucky for those ones that their house is already paid off but then still they have to pay this big or, taxes or big uh property tax I mean. property tax because of bond bond issues you mm -hmm. know like we live in Kerr Lake, the house we bought there man the property tax was very expensive very expensive because they had so many bonds water bonds sewer bond everything you know we didn't know that when we bought the house yeah so even though our house was not like uh very very expensive we you know our house in we clearly got a very good deal on that clearly, house. yeah so we it, jumped on it real fast it was like a double wide uh, that being put in a permanent uh, foundation. foundation but the problem of it is is that when we 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 were trying to sell it uh Nobody will finance it because it's a double. We didn't even know that when we bought it. But how did we get finance anyway we, at that time when we bought it? Because it we got this guy just carried it for a year. Yeah. And so we we you know we put that money down and we needed to pay it off in a year or else get financing. So he just did us saying he's doing us a favor. He did himself a favor. Yeah. Um, but you know. We had to pay it for a year, and 
We have well, very uh, high interest. Very high interest. We are, we well, wanna, if, I think everything in the U.S. if you buy a house is a very high interest. Anyway, we wound up selling it on the 11th month, I think. And we were just lucky uh, enough that the person who bought our house paid cash. paid cash for it. And that is what we needed when we were uh, selling our house. We were trying to sell our house. We just needed that person that can pay cash for it. Yeah, because at the time, we didn't know it at the time in the U.S., if you had a uh, uh, modular home mm -hmm. uh, on a double wide on a piece of property, uh, you couldn't get finance, financing for it but right. because they wouldn't include the property. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, the only way to sell it is find somebody with cash, and we were lucky yeah. that we were able to do that. Wow. We didn't know all those things about, uh, you know, modular homes when we bought that, like I said, it was a really good deal. We jumped right into it. Yeah. We lived in it for like a year, huh? Yeah, yeah. a year. And we were just lucky to sell it in the right time. Yeah. And we made a little profit on it too. Yes, we did. Yeah. yeah. So, but, uh, uh, but yeah. anyway, we're reminiscing between that and living here. Because uh, there's the comparison. <laughs> yeah, comparison. You don't get all of the um, infrastructure here that you had there, but the infrastructure there that you had was very expensive. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you just uh, scale down your life, uh, scale your life back a little bit and, and try to build, and it's what we did. Just mm -hmm. bought a lot and built. And we suffered uh, for a couple of years, lived in a house that was not even finished, mm -hmm. fighting mosquitoes and everything else. <laughs> but um, finally, yeah. finally got to this point yeah i really remember honey when you when we first got here because our house barely livable and i just barely. had to barely enough uh, money to finish uh, the bedroom and the bathroom and uh well, that was so, it. yeah that was it and then uh, we have windows but yeah like the jealousy windows, windows and you keep complaining because we didn't have a tile floor no at that time on. no screen so there, you have to fight off the mosquito well yeah. i bought you that uh, lotion off that, uh, some <laughs> they, in it. Yeah, you don't like it. Yeah. So yeah, thinking about now, it was a struggle. Yeah, yeah for the first two years being here in the Philippines, it was a little hard because we moved here with only like three thousand. That's the truth, okay? Three thousand dollars, and then off of that, we have to buy like bed. We have to buy your we had to buy your recliner mm -hmm. so and then after that we just kind of like little by little trying to finish the house and then we didn't even have a transportation until was it four four or five months four or five months yeah almost six months or five well, months yeah i think over five yes, months yeah. we didn't have transportation and dennis is getting tired of it we have to wait for a tricycle but somebody somebody <laughs> said, said, said a comment in about those little multi-cabs mm -hmm. like the one we had at first yeah how much they were yeah and uh, that one we bought was 218,000 pesos right right yeah I think they're a little more expensive now they might be $5,000 yeah. yeah probably you can buy a used one for well, about the same anyway so yeah. might as well buy the ones that well, really they're all just used they ship them here in pieces from yeah. Japan yeah you know and then convert them mm -hmm. uh, to uh, and put them back together. Yeah, the thing about the multi cab is if you are a tall guy, then your knees <laughs> <laughs> hit the dashboard. Yeah, They're yeah. only made for little people. Yeah. You know, yeah. the small people. I had problems with it, yeah. Yeah, so. But it was better than walking. I know. We had that multi cab for what? Uh, over two years, I think. I think we so, yeah. Wait. Yeah, we did. Over two years. Wow. And uh, yeah, of course, we couldn't pay. Uh, cash for it at the time because it was 218,000 so we made payments for it well my mom was the one who signed up for the multi cab because Dennis will not get approved no, I couldn't get along. yeah get a loan and then I, if I put it in my name they're not gonna you know they need an income and they don't wanna you know base it on your income but you know, they'll, it has they'll to take my income as part of the uh as part of the approval process but they need a Filipino citizen yeah. to make the contract out here yeah so at that time my mom signed up for it and then so they approve it that's why we got the multi-cab and yeah. we made 200 dollar payment every and we month. didn't do 
anything for a couple of years, man. Every extra penny we could yeah, work on the house went towards improving the house. And you know the bad thing about it, guys. You know what happened. I'm sure some of you know, but the uh, newer viewers probably didn't know that we paid them. We paid off the multi cab in January, and then the next month we had that accident. Yeah, because of that accident. Yeah. Wow, that was bad, and it really. <clears throat> cleaned us out dry it really, it really bleed us Oof. dry because you know those uh guys those two guys uh they were in the hospital you know i give what we could at that yeah, time and every show still trying to squeeze more <laughs> i know <laughs> but i said uh, there's no more we don't have a lot of money yeah. we we would have not been driving that multi cup if we yeah. have right. a lot of money it so a hard yeah. lesson to learn wow so that's since then um Dennis did not want to drive anymore so after guys our multi cab was gone you know another like five or six months before we finally uh have a car, have a car. Mm -hmm. so at the time you know I'd, we go back into doing tricycle again and then once in a while i'm renting a car and we go to tagum or right, something right very car. important yeah Rather so riding the bus i hated riding the bus <laughs> i know you know at least i well she was too she had been away from here for like years we were coming to uh, when we moved to the philippines we were coming to the big unknown I uh, know. you know i had visited here four times in bohol but really i didn't know what it was like living here that's you when know, you so we can sympathize with those of you who are considering moving here but are kind of hesitant because you don't know we felt the same way mm -hmm. you know big unknown fortunately you had family close by that's why we bought this lot and they were a big help to us getting settled mm -hmm. and uh so yeah we moved into a house that was not even complete it just had the bedroom and bathroom complete <laughs> that's it wow uh, didn't even have any kitchen counters in nothing man yeah and we when we think about it now guys we, we feel so lucky and we are so happy that we wind up uh moving in this uh area i mean there are some noise sometimes but just perfect uh distance from, from town. town not not so far <coughs> not very very close yeah so uh not, not in town you get a yeah. kind of a country atmosphere here a little yeah. bit yeah and uh before guys when we moved in here see this are all dirt road was it two oh, years man. or three years later they built this road yeah, right. yeah. we so. have no landscaping in no trees no flowers <laughs> no fence no you know? no yeah not at all now we all have this bushes in here <laughs> I enjoy so doing my friends, yeah. So we're now pretty much yeah. after you know, six years, but yeah. there's some, still some things we want to do here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we still have some plans, improving the house or actually, you know, doing an extension, but you know, it's not easy. So we really just wait for the time until it will happen. You know, the extension yeah. is our next goal someday. <laughs> Yeah, my kids in the U.S., they're scattered now, you know. A couple of kids in uh, North Carolina, and one just moved to the Pacific Northwest. Mm -hmm. And uh, he loves it there. So beautiful, and I always liked it there, too. So yeah, you just talked to him, huh, this Yeah, morning. I just got film with him, yeah. So how yeah. he like it there? Oh, he loves it. He yeah. loves it, man. Yeah. So they're trying to get settled in their lives. Mm -hmm. You know, but I, I, get to, I communicate with them uh, pretty Through, often. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But, so we're kind of focusing on what we need to do here. I mean, you know, for now we're just really taking it slow. We're not in a hurry. We're just going with the flow of the <laughs> of the time. Yeah, when the timing's right. Yeah. Uh, we want to do a little improvements here, but uh, yeah. we're gonna wait for the timing. Yep. Yeah. And see, guys. Well, you know, I can't go on the day we, without telling you how's the weather so yeah. <laughs> that's our weather today just a little <coughs> sunny and uh little clouds and hopefully it's not gonna rain well that's our some of our story for the day <laughs> for the day guys yeah. we're probably gonna watch uh netflix again yeah
last night I was thinking about watching the Breaking Bad without you but I thought I would be very mad if you would watch it without me so I thought I don't want you to be mad if you're I'm watching it without lucky for you you didn't watch it <laughs> yeah because we just need to watch it together I stop myself from watching it good for you I know see how good of a wife I am <laughs> <laughs> anyway guys <laughs> we need to get something to eat okay okay let's do that <laughs> look how he's devouring all that chicken look at him wow man unbelievable man you get regular food you get special treats and then you get chicken and pork <laughs> wow oh, man He's eating some human food. Yeah. Like human food. What's been happening all day? Honey, tell everybody what what you Breaking bad. Oh my goodness. You know Getting more we intense, are, more intense all the time. We are getting addicted to breaking bad. This guy's a good writer, man. Breaking bad <coughs> addiction, yeah. I call it. <laughs> yeah, he's a good writer. Oh, in you know times like this all the neighbors go out in their yard yeah. do something clean up everybody's outside right before the sun goes down yeah very nice beautiful uh. sky at 5 30 right now yeah check out oh. the smell of all kinds of food in here yeah you can smell all these yeah. people cooking already Smoke, food. yeah the people burning leaves that's yeah. what it is guys they are life here in the Philippines Ming Ming just enjoying his food later on I'm gonna give him the rest of the fish yeah, I talked to my son today in uh, Oregon yeah so maybe uh, I'll go there in the spring Wow May or June. that's exciting yeah I've uh, been very exciting encouraging I was talking to Dennis about you know going to s visit his family um, this spring I will be very excited and happy for you, honey. Yeah, I love Oregon. It's beautiful yeah. anyway. And I wish I could come with you, but... We go, can. No, it's fine. Go ahead and enjoy. And then, you know, my fair, instead of you, uh, uh, like, having to spend all the fair, then you can use it to pocket money and you can go ahead and enjoy with your, you know, family. See if I can get son. my other son to fly out from North Carolina and... Yeah. Us, you know? Yeah, that would be very cool. <coughs> would be. Yeah. But we'll see how it goes. That's very exciting. It's good that you go on spring because it won't be too hot or not so cold. Right. So right. it'll be just perfect. Perfect weather. Let's hope so. Yeah. Got a perfect weather right here right now. I mean right now guys. Is that See, there's a, at all? Yeah, you can nice feel this breeze. wind. Show the camera right through there. Huh? Oh. Yeah, the sunset is not really, really uh, red. I think there are some guava in here. Oh wow! That is ripe. Oh, that guava is. I think it fell in the ground. not that ripe yet our wind turbine honey is still working still good turning. yeah that's good it does you know yet now it keeps the house, helps keep the house cooler yeah it's not that ripe but it's edible yeah. it's a little better though i'm so amazed with our java apple guys I really can't complain that it's fruiting like all year round. How can I complain? I'm just amazed. We have a Java apple all year round. Look, this time it's very sure there's no worm, but it's not that ripe. Very sure there's no worm? Yeah. <coughs> she tried it coax me into tasting it I don't think so very hard though yeah. Yeah. gotta break your teeth though. yeah 
Woo! Ming Ming, he wants more. Yeah. Well, Where'd you, you get that good stuff, man? I want more of that. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's asking for you like that stuff, huh? You want more food. <laughs> yeah, see? Here, Here I'll, I'll give it. No, I'll hey. give it no guava. He's not gonna eat it anyway. He thinks I'm eating something very good. Look, Ming. Look. Oh, here. <laughs> See? He did. Oh, yeah, very funny. Uh, really did. tricked Ming, didn't you? <laughs> I'm going to give him uh, more fish. Ming, are you mad, Ming? Yeah. Well, guys, I just can't believe that we spent the rest of our day just watching Breaking Bad and gonna watch more and more <laughs> yeah the more you watch it the more you want to watch more you know yeah when this is over then we can watch the movie El Camino yeah that's a follow-up to, to Breaking Bad is it yeah I thought you started watching it well I did but I, I you I can didn't. start from the I want from to watch the Breaking beginning. Bad first yeah yeah Ooh. so <laughs> Ming's the busiest thing here right now yeah so guys i guess that will be it for this video there's not much going on but thank you anyway for watching our videos despite of uh, not much action you are still viewing it so we really but appreciate you all very stress-free <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys and hopefully tomorrow there will be a little bit of action yeah it should be on friday yeah. we'll see you again tomorrow okay guys thanks for watching bye, bye, -bye. guys ming bye me Ming. Say bye. Ming. Bye. Ming. Say bye. Ming. 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 